welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a fascinating looking puzzle by uh, what Bob or Bo B? Probably Bob. Um, there's a second capital B, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm not convinced if we've done anything by this constructor before on the channel, but looking forward to this one. Now, don't forget our Patreon content and competitions, one running now, and all of our content online in our apps and the merchandise all the links are available on the links under the video Sven's at okupad as well in the discord server do check them out but the first link is to this puzzle which is called for a reason that we might discover i suppose 14 plus 7. Um, normal sudoku rules apply now i love this digits on an arrow must sum to the number in the arrows pill read from left to right so all of these digits are going to add up to a two-digit number that we write left to right in there. So if that was 56, then the sum of these cells is 56. Or if that was 5 and 6, I should say. Uh, and then we've got a three-cell arrow up here, or a three-cell pill, and its arrow runs all the way around the perimeter, which is fun. Um, what I quite like is there's an awful lot of symmetry about this puzzle. Not complete, certainly, in terms of the black and white dots. But, yeah, intriguing. There's a lot of arrow symmetry. Anyway, black dots join digits with a 1 to 2 ratio. White dots join digits that are consecutive. Not all dots are given. And that's what we get. So do feel free to give this a try on using the link under the video in our software. I'm going to... I don't know how long it's going to be. I mean, I, I'm guessing half an hour. Let's see. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And there's not... Well, there are bits to go on. Actually, here's something to go on. Amongst the digits 1 to 9, the Sudoku digits, there are six black dot digits. Now, what do I mean by a black dot digit? I mean a digit that can go on a black dot. Black dots join digits with a 1 to 2 ratio, and the pairs that are possible are 1 and 2, 2 and 4, um, 3 and 6, 4 and 8. That's all there are. And those are using the six digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8. So they must occupy these six cells in box 2. And that means 5, 7 and 9, which can never be on a black dot, must be in these three. And that's a start, if you like, on calculating this, this Fistemafel ring arrow. And that might be interesting. Um, anyway, I don't know. Ah, look, we've got, sorry, we've got exactly the same pattern in box eight. So five, seven, nine can't be on the black dots. They must be down here. Oh, and these must then be even because they're cons consecutive to five, seven, or nine. It's possible this is going to turn into a parity puzzle, although I doubt it. Oh, and this is much more obvious than anything I've done before. There's a run, there's a run of four black dots down the right-hand side. Well, that's got to be one, two, four, eight, given what I just said about the possible combinations on black dots. So it either runs upwards one, two, four, eight, or downwards one, two, four, eight. I suppose that means this cell which sees a 579 triple there and a 1824 there is 3 or 6. Actually, so is this one. And that's a 3 6 pair. So now we're getting 5, 7, and 9 sent into these other cells in column 9. Maybe this is going to be a puzzle of isolating 5, 7, and 9. I don't really know yet, but this is quite a lot of progress. Now, what I had planned to do at the very beginning and haven't done yet, I've been putting it off, is to think about this three digit number. And this perimeter. Now, given the digits in a Sudoku add up to 405, that is a super secret that you might not know, but they do. Um, the perimeter probably is going to be less than, well, in one or 200 region. Now, actually, let's think about the rows. The right, these two rows each add up to 45. This is the main secret about Sudoku. Every row, column, and box, because it contains the digits 1 to 9, adds up to exactly 45. So we've got 45 here. Let's color that purple. We've got 45 here. That's 90. We've got 45 in column 1 and 45 in column 9. 
And that takes us up to 180, but that is not the number in the pill, not just because it contains a zero, but because it has double counted these corners. So the corner cells plus this number equal 180 because, yeah, because 45 times 4, actually let's take away the purple, let's hope the drilling and banging stops. Um, yeah, the, the, the perimeter cells would add up to 180 if you were able to count these twice, but you're only allowed to count them once. So let's deduct that total from 180 and we get this number, which therefore must begin with a 1, as it is three digits. Now, how much could we take off from these? Well, 9, 6, oh, not 9, maybe 8 there. And seven there. That seems about 30. Ah, but of course, this number can't be five or seven because that's been used up. It can't it can't be eight because 180 is the maximum, so we've got to come under that. It's probably six. Can it be four? Can we get to 149? Then these would have to add up to the difference between 149 and 180, which is 31. And I don't think they can. If that's 9, 6. You see, we can't have a 9 down here. We could have 8. Actually, we couldn't have 8 and 6, given those. 8 and 3 is the max. Yeah, look, we've got 5, 7, 9 used up in the bottom row. We've got 2 of 8, 6, and 4, so we can only use one of those. Let's use the maximum. Make it 8 in there. We make that 3 in there. Because once we've used 8, that's a 6 and 4 pair. So 8, 3, 9, 7. I just don't see how we could get any higher than 9, 7 across the top row. That's only 27. And we needed 31 to get to 149. So this is a 6. Right, now on the black dots, that's a 2. That's a 3. This is a 4, 8 pair. The number in the pill is either 164 or 168. Now if we take those away from 180, that means the blue cells add up to either 12 or 16. And now it's not a question of how maximum they can be. How can we, could we keep them down to 12? I think we could just, if that was 5 and that was... Oh, I was thinking this could be 1 and that could be 2. That's the minimum on the left. Then you'd need 9 here. But actually, they can't be 5, 4. The minimum these can be is 5, 3. And that adds up to 8. That would need 3 and 1 here. But if that's a 3 and there's a 3 here, you can't have a 3 in these blue cells. Now, I'm not missing anything, am I? I don't think you can make them add up to 12. If you go above 5 here, you've got 7, 3, and any two Sudoku numbers make that add up to at least 13. If you go above 3 here, you've got 6, 5, and any two numbers take it above 12. I don't think you can make the blue cells add up to 12. 5, 3, 3, 1, no, you can't. So this cannot be an 8 to make 168. That is a 4. And we've got these numbers all done in the top box. Um, that's fascinating. That's not the way I was expecting to be solving this at all, really. Now, these blue cells now have to add up to 16, the difference between 164 and 180. I think there's quite a lot of scope for them to do that, annoyingly. Yeah, I mean, if these were the minimum, 5 and 3, uh, these could either be 6 and 2, 7 and 1, mm, only those. If that's 7 and 3, these would have to add up to 6. They could be 5 and 1 or 4 and 2. That's quite a lot of options. If that was 5 and this was 6, then these have to add up to 5, and they could be 4 and 1. All one and four? Okay, there's a lot of options. Wow, that's so weird. I'm four numbers bigger and you have no options. Four numbers smaller and you have loads. 
Interesting, right. So I'm not going to pencil mark these cells, although I do know they can't add up to more than eight, those two, but anyway. Uh, what can we do next? Now, let's have a look at this, this pill and its total. I don't think it's going to be as helpful. These definitely add up to 21. Now, the minimum these sets of five can add up to is one to five each. So that would take us up to 51 plus a three here. 54 is the minimum. Um, what's the maximum? 35, 35, that's 70. 21 there, 91. And a nine here is just over 99. So... Mm. Oh, I've written 5789 as the candidates, ignoring this 579 triple and the fact that it's on a black dot. That's an 8. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so 8, 4 there. This pair sees 2, 1 and 8, 4. That's a 3, 6 pair. This is the 2, 1 pair. Now suddenly we know that this arrow adds up to 81 or 82 and includes 21 there. Let's say it's 81. Then these cells have to add up to 60. I don't know how to do that. Okay, they could. And it, it's not, it's quite a middling total in a way. That's 60 for 11 cells, which is an average of just over 5 per cell. Hmm. Okay, maybe that is not the way we're going to carry on with the solving. Oh, we've got an 8 there. That's fixed this as 1. That's done this whole quad over there. Now, what about these? This, oh, the one looks at that cell, so it's 82. We know that, but we don't know how to make it up. This is 3, 4, or 6, because it sees the other Sudoku digits for definite. Oh, hang on, I've just had another weird thought. Right. Let's colour the cells in the first column that are black cell digits, black dot digits. This one has to be, and this is an important point, because it sees five, seven, and nine. So it must be one, two, three, four, six, or eight, and be a black dot digit. These four are on black dots, and this one also sees five, seven, and nine, so that's a black dot digit. And these six purple cells are the black dot digits. And there's a pair there, and a pair there, and. Oh, these don't have to form a pair. They could be 1 and 8. Um, better be careful with that. But these other cells are 5, 7 and 9. Now, what's that done for our blue cell quad that has to add up to 16? Yes, that does it. Look, 5 and 7 are the minimum up there. 12, 3 there, and you need a 1 here. And we are away. Right, 1, 3, and a 5, 7 pair in the blue cells at the top. It's leaving us a 9x-wing in rows 2 and 8. Uh, what have we got? 1, 4, 6 and 9 along the top now, still to place. What does that do to this string of white dots? 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 7, 8. No, no. 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, there's lots of possibilities. Okay, I thought that might be more helpful than it is. Um, right, these black dots. This one, opposite 3, 4, or 6, is 3, 6, or 8, or 2. Let's be careful. Oh, no, it's not 2. There's a 2 there. So it is 3, 6, or 8. This on the white dot now is a 1, 5, 7, or 9. Now, we've got a 1 here, so... This is either 2, 4, 4, 8, or 3, 6. Oh no, another way to look at that is this cell. 3, 6 must be a pair on one of these black dots. The other one includes a 4. So actually this cell has to be 2 or 8. So this is either 3, 6 or includes a 4, which would have to be in that cell... So this one can be 2 or 8. I don't know that that really does much. Um, now we need a 2 in one of these positions along the bottom. 
That doesn't seem to make an X-Wing particularly anywhere. Might have to start thinking about these runs of three linking to a black. Oh, this one is in a box with two, four, and eight. So that's one, three, or six. So this cell is two, six, or three. That's all it can be. Now, if this goes one, two, then it must continue three, four, which is possible. Let's just take out the candidates there and do that. One, two, three, four. If it starts three, six, it can't go seven, eight. So it would have to go five, four. And if it starts six, three, it would have to go two, one. So actually, they're quite limited possibilities. That doesn't apply here, though, because this cell is not in a box with eight, four, two, sadly. I think it could even be three or six. But anyway, we've got limited possibilities here. Now, one, two, three, six. None of them interfere with this. This could always be eight. Um... So what about these sets of five? Do I have to think about that again? 82 minus 21 is 61. So all of these cells add up to 61. I don't like that. That's not... Oh, this pair is a 1-2 pair. That's been obvious for ages. This is another non-black dot digit, 5, 7, or 9. Eights in one of those cells, fours in one of those, three and six are over here. Uh, none of this is getting anything done, even that one two pair is not really. Okay, let me think again. So if this is a one, this goes one, two, three, six. If it's a four, this could go down or up, four, three, two, one, or four, five, six, three. If it goes four, five, six, that's trouble, is it, for that cell? Maybe not. What about this one then? One, four, six, or even nine here. Um, oh, that's really wide open, bother. Oh, this is an interesting sticking point in the puzzle. Um, if that was a 2, this would be a 2, 3, 6 triple, and we'd have 1, 4, 8 in the other cells. Actually, this can be an 8, 6, 7, 8. Oh, come on. Come on, Mark. Think about it. I've kind of finished with the outer um, arrow. So maybe the inner. Do I have to think about Fistemafel? The, the Fistemafel theorem states that these 16 cells on this inner ring are always exactly the same as these sets of 2 by 2s in the corners. And I mean, it's a fascinating idea. It's definitely true. I could show you a proof, but if I'm not going to use it, I'm probably not going to. And I don't really see how to use it at the moment. Oh, 8 has to be in one of these two cells, doesn't it? Because it's not in any of the pencil markings. So 8's in one of those two. Um, that can't be 8, because this can't be 7 or 9. Oh, this could be 8 itself, though with a four there. Oh, bother. Okay. Um, right, what am I meant to be finding here? For that not to be a two, be an 8, this would be a 2, which would make a 1-2 pair resolved here. That would also make that a 4, put 4 here, 8 here. I don't know, that doesn't seem all that useful. And 
and this can be 8 quite comfortably. That then leaves this to be 4, 2. That's what we were just looking at, in fact, a moment ago. Um, <clears throat> oh, crikey. Okay, I don't know what I'm meant to be looking for now. So, if I could limit these a bit, maybe I could make a determination on 3 or 6 there, but I don't see how I'm meant to get at that at the moment. Gosh. What was the title of the puzzle? 14 plus 7. I don't really know. I mean, maybe that refers to 5, 7 and 9 adding up to 21. 5 and 9 is 14 and 7 is another 7. I don't really know what it's about. I don't think it helps. Clutching at straws a bit now. Um, this black dot, is that more constrained than I've realised? It's really not. I mean, this 8 says this cell can't be an 8. But that aside, I'm not seeing any limitation on this really at all. Eight's in one of those cells. Um, okay, let's assume this is a six, say, 21, 27. Then these group of cells add up to 55. Then the remaining cells in the columns add up to 35. I don't see how to use that. I don't. I really don't. Okay, let's look at the possibilities for this group of four cells then. So if that's a one, it goes one, two, three, four. If that's a four, it could go downwards, four, three, two, one, the exact opposite, or it could go upwards, four, five, six, three, I think. And I don't like this. It's giving me tons of possibilities so far. Now, 6 could go downwards, 6, 5, 4, ah, oh, well it would have to be 6, 5, 4, 2. It couldn't be 6, 5, 4, 8, because that would make this cell impossible, which is quite interesting. Um, 6 could go upwards, no, it couldn't, 6, 7, 8, 4 has the same problem, that uses 6, 8 and 4. So, actually, it's getting a bit more limited than I thought. Nine, nine can't be here at all. It can't go nine, eight, seven, because that's a not a black dot number. Ah, oh, I thought I was getting a two, three, six triple. I'm not. There's a rogue four in this cell. How about up here? One of these has to be a nine. One of those has to be a nine. Ah, I bet nine is on both of these sides of the arrow. Two, three, five, seven, nine, eight has to be in one of these positions. It's just not quite concrete enough to actually use for anything. Oh, I was going to say, if this is 2, then because this becomes a 3-6 pair, that has to be 4. And I was hoping that would make this run impossible, but it doesn't. Because if that's 4, we're going 5-6. 2, 4, 5, 6. That would make this definitely 7. Oh, that's interesting. Does one of these have to be 5 and give us a 5-7-9 triple maybe not no because it could be a one two three four no one two three one two three six why have i written four here that's wrong that's one two three six that's a black dot sorry if i read it as though it was a white dot Four three two one that way up does work, but one two three four doesn't. It would be one two three six. So that can't be a four. 
Um, it doesn't really change things much. I mean, it nearly gives us a quadruple here of one, two, three, six. But not quite, because again, four's trying to get in everywhere and spoil my parties. Um, why is four such a beastly gate crasher? If it would just go away, we could really get going. Maybe the point is, yeah, there's got to be a five in one of those places. Does that allow there to be a five in one of these? I don't see why it doesn't on the other side. This is very bad pencil marking. I've written one, five, seven, nine here on this white dot. Don't know why I see that now. Um, three would be connected to a four. I think I may have just mistyped that. Um, anyway. No, eight's in one of those three cells. It's not quite analogous to that eight. One in this row is in one of those two cells. That's not, I think, forming an X-wing anywhere. No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm, if one was here, that would force eight to be here. It would also make this a four. And we'd definitely be using three and six amongst these three cells. Actually, maybe we always would. I can't see what we're meant to do. I know I'm making that very obvious. Um, Maybe I have to just... Okay, what's the maximum we could put on here? A 6-3 pair, 9-8-7, 33 for that group, plus 21 is 54. It seems like a similar sort of maximum here. And that already takes us over 82 anyway, so I haven't even used the last digit on the tip of the arrow, so that's not how to get going. Now what did I say? If that's a 2, this is a 3-6 pair, and that's a 4. Then we go 6-5-4-2, and that becomes an 8. Then 1's on the line. That's quite interesting. If that's right, if that's a 2, then we've got four two there, and we end up with one on the line, and that's quite small numbers. So four two one, let's say nine and eight. No, in fact, you wouldn't get eight because if you had a two there, you'd have four five six here, and that would be eight. So if that's a two, we've got four two here. 197 at a maximum, so that's 23, plus that 21 is 44, plus 6 there, say, at a maximum 50. Then these have to add up to 32. Well, they're not going to do that with a 2-1 pair there, but with a 6-3 pair, 32 minus 9 is 23, Well, these can't be 986 with 63 there. Actually, they can't even be close to that because 8 is in one of these two cells. So the most these could be is 976. So it won't work. That's weird. Is that really right? I'm going to go through this again because this is a bit complicated. But if this is a 2, then we get a 3 6 pair here. This becomes a 4. This has to go 4 5 6 with a two here, because it can't be six, five, four, eight, because that breaks this cell, that's right. So four, two there, you do end up with an eight here. So four, two, one, nine, seven is the max. Over here, the max is six, three, let's say nine, seven, five. 
I'm not sure, but it's not going to be enough. 63975 adds up to... That's not an easy one. Um, 30. Four two one nine seven adds up to twenty three. That's fifty three plus twenty one there is seventy four plus six there. The maximum is eighty, and that is not enough. So it's not a two there. That's weird. Okay, I mean I'd, there may be a neater thing that you can spot, and do let me know at this point because I think. This feels like a key point within the solve, but that's an 8 as a result. So there's no 8 in these cells. That now has to be 3 or 6. Can it definitely not be 4? Yes, because that can't be 2 or 8. So this is a 3-6 pair. This is now 2 and 4, and they're done. We can fill in 1 and 2 there. Um... I mean, this, you know, I like, I know it feels a bit of a stretch to work out the logic there, but I love the way it gives you a bit of a jump forward sometimes. So four, also we can place in the middle box there. That gives us eight. That puts an eight on the line here. Stops this being an eight. That stops this being a nine. It's probably not very interesting. That's five, seven or nine now. Um, this can't be two anymore. So this can't be four anymore. This can still be five though. Yeah, that hasn't really changed. Um, but now I've got my two, three, six triple. So this is a one, four pair. Now I've got a one, four pair over here. So that is not one or four, that is six or nine. So one of these is one or four and the other is six or nine. What's that doing? Six, four, eight. I don't know. Come on, do a bit more. Um, ah, well, these are getting quite restricted now. They can't both be six, three pairs or that cell won't work. So one of them is a two, one pair and the other is a three, six pair. Yeah, that's definitely true. So how's my totaling going on? If one of these is a, a 3-6 pair, it would be more restricted over here. Ooh, if that was a 3-6 pair, that would be a 4. So this would have to be a 1 and that would be a 2. These could be the 9-5-7 triple. I don't know. I don't know how to use this quite. It's not fully. Oh, there's a three, six pair there as well. It's not fully resolving anything was what I was trying to say before my brain interrupted my body. Um, four, two, eight, one. One of these two has to be a one. So this can't be a one now, and that's useful. That means this is a three, six pair. And that's a three, six pair, and this is a two. And that's a one, and this is three and four, and this is a one now. So we have to go two, three, six, and we're away again. Six, nine, this is not a nine. Uh, this is a four, isn't it? Yeah. That's a one. This is six. This is nine, because it had to be in one of those two cells for the Yeah, I mean for the column. Let's let's go round this way. Nine there, not nine here, and therefore nine here. And then we're left with a five seven pair in both box one and three. Now, this has become a six. Can't be four or eight. Doesn't change this. This can't be six. But what can these add up to? Right, the maximum here is 21987. That's 27. The maximum here is 36, 
975. Can't have an 8. And I know that 97653 sum, it is 30. 30 and 27 is 77. No, it's 57. Plus 21 is 78. This can't be 3 because we can't get there. So that's become a 6. That, mind you, has given us two degrees of freedom on the maxes here, so I don't think I can do them yet. Oh, I tell you what I ought to do is look at these four cells and work out what their total is now. Right, 82 minus 21 is 61, minus 6 is 55. These 10 cells add up to 55. These top four add up to another 10 in the columns. That's 65 in these two columns. Subtract that from 90, which is two lots of 45, and these green cells add up to 25. Now, this is 5, 7, or 9, and is definitely odd. So this has to be even to make these add up to 25. That will be the only odd number. You can't have two of them. So this is even. This is 4 or 8, and it's 8. Fantastic. Okay, so these add up to 25. We've already got 18. That's a 7. Oh, that's a lovely bit of logic. Very nice, if that was deliberately built in by Bob. Um, now, 5, 7, 9, 2 and 8 along the bottom. 4 obviously has to be next to 5. 6 has to be next to 7. We get a 9 in the middle. These can't be 9. These can't be 7. This one can't be 5. It doesn't resolve all those. This is a 5, 9 pair. The maths must all work. I mean, I'm not going to go around adding up both arrows now because I think the deductions have done enough to make sure that we're correct. Now this can't be a 4 or a 5 so it's oh well, it's got to be 7 connected to 6. That's very helpful. Um, that becomes a 5. That's a 9. Now we do this triple 5, 7, 9. This becomes a triple of 3, 6, 7. Actually we can fill them in rather than the triple. 5 and 3 in these cells. Don't know how that goes. This is a 9. It can't be 7 or 5. So 1 here. Oh, left with weird odd triples everywhere now. No, I'm not. I get a 4 here. That's 5 or 7. So this is 6. That's 2. Oh, actually, this is 9. That's 5. 3... 9, and this is going to work now, 7, 3, 5, and one pair left, 7 and 5. What a lovely puzzle. That's so clever. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a tough bit of deduction there. I'd love to know what was better there. There might have been something better. Um, but it's a really clever puzzle. I love the symmetry of these huge long arrows and their pills. Um, and a really interesting solve. Thanks, Bob, for sending that. And uh, thank you, as always, for watching us. It's a pleasure to have you with us on the channel. Hope to see you again soon for some more logical lunacy. Bye for now.